Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to another episode of Smile to Jannah. Smile to Jannah. <laughs> now this is an unusual bit of news, yeah? So a teenager whose arms don't work and he can't talk attempted an armed robbery of a jewellery shop in Brazil. Just please. Don't judge me for the puns that you're about to hear now, yeah? The more I looked into the story, the more it was more and more unusual. He was in the shop for 10 minutes before he plucked up the courage to go for the stick up. Now, in order to do the actual stick up, the guy can't talk, yeah? So what he did was he passed on a note that said the following, hand over everything and don't raise attention. To be fair, if you look at the handwriting, it's still better than my doctor's, yeah? But it does beg the question, if you wanted everything, why on earth are you coming with only one bag mate? Expectedly, the cashier thought it was some sort of prank, yeah? So he just carried on doing his business. Then the robber on wheels gets serious and he pulls out his strap. That's gun for you non-hip people out there. <laughs> Considering his arms don't work, he used his feet to maneuver the gun in, in, in the stick up, yeah? And he cocked it with his feet as well. <laughs> now if you look at the person, there's another person in the shop. Look at that person. They can leave at any time. But they choose to stay in the shop. He's walking around using his hand sanitizer, looking at other bits of jewellery. He doesn't feel threatened at all. Now somebody saw this, just imagine going past this shop and witnessing a guy trying to manipulate a gun with his feet. So this person that saw what was going on called the police. He, he hadn't reached very far, you know what I'm saying? <sighs> I mean, what was going through this guy's head? If you're going to enter a shop with someone's help, how on earth are you going to leave with everything without needing the help of the cashier? I mean, when I heard this story, I had so many questions. Namely, can you call it an armed robbery if the guy can't use his arms? And you know, thieves tend to use gloves so they don't leave fingerprints. But this guy, because he's using his feet, doesn't mean he has to wear socks. He now faces charges for attempted robbery, yeah? Which is fair enough. But people are saying he doesn't have a leg to stand on when he gets to court. <laughs> and you know what guys, let's just press pause for a moment, yeah? This story is actually kind of inspirational. In a twisted sort of way, yeah? Just, just, just bear with me. I mean, this guy is disabled. He can't speak, but he's still living life to the fullest. So my question is, what's your excuse? Anytime something happens, you gotta ask why. What led this person in the desperate situation that he was to resort to this? I mean, let's face it, any individual in that situation would know he was definitely gonna get caught eventually. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't gonna get very far. And one of the main reasons is, it's Brazilian leadership. Yeah, you heard me. Brazil has got a Trump-like leader Mr. Dolan Trump called Bolsonaro and this Bolsonaro dude pretty much is on the same path as Dolan Trump. He doesn't accept global warming, he's far right, he hates immigrants, delayed and didn't believe in the coronavirus and all this business. He is running his country into the ground. But I'm not gonna be that person that says oh get rid of the leader and everything is solved because the leaders get voted in. So that is the story of the Brazilian armless bandit who did a stick up with his feet. If that doesn't scream, don't let anything hold you back. I don't know what does. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm gonna leave it there until next time. <sighs> Asalaamu Alaikum.